How to create data app? Go to Components, Data Apps. Click on Create Data App. We need to give a name to our data app. It will be My First Data App. Let's create it. Now we can see various options. Let's start from the beginning. We have authentications. There are three options. None, which means your data app will be publicly accessible from the internet. Basic, which means user will be requested for username and password before entering the application. And last one, OIDC, which is authentication against your identity provider. It can be Entra, Okta, Gmail of identity provider of your choice. For now, we will go with basic and save it. In additional settings, you are able to provide URL prefix of your application. It is already preferred by the name of our application, but let's rename it to best app ever. Now save it. For deployment, you have two options. For more complex applications, you can go with Git repository. Private repositories are supported as well. For our case, we will go with code. So let's click code and add code. Most of your application would start with importing Streamlit library. Import Streamlit SST. Then we want to show something. Let's do st.title. My first data. Let's create some interactive element as well. For example, let's try button. st. Dot button and we need to provide label of this button. It will be click me. We also want to respond on click event. So let's write if button is clicked, we want to do something. In our case, it will be st. Dot success. And we need to provide text of success box and it will be wow. It is working. Now let's save our code. And we can close editor. You can also install additional Python packages. But Streamlit is already in default packages. So we don't need to install anything. If you want to change color palette of your application, you can do it here. We already provide you with a few predefined color palettes. For our application, let's go with Kebula one. Next part is secrets. This is crucial if you want to pass API token, for example, to your application or any configuration variable. In our case, if we want to use API token, we can encrypt it this value by enabling encryption. And after saving this value, you can see it's being encrypted and no one is capable of reading it. Last part is table input and file input mapping, where you can provide your application with tables or files from Kebula storage. Last missing piece is to deploy our application. So let's click on deploy data app. We have options for backend sizes, starting from extra small, going to large. For our application, extra small will be more than enough. And also you can choose auto sleep timeout. You can choose from one hour to 24 hours. It means if no one will interact with app for one hour, it will be automatically suspended. This will help you to save costs because for suspended application, you are not paying credits. Now deploy data app. And after a few seconds, we can go directly to our data app. copy username and password. And this is our data. Let's click on a button. And as we can see, wow, it's working. And that's it.
Let's go and build your first data app as well.